Don't let someone else's opinion of you become your reality. Les Brown. The year 2019 will always be remembered in the world of golf, where Tiger Woods completed one of the greatest comeback stories in golf history. After four back surgeries and personal scandals that forced him to hit rock bottom, Tiger Woods made it all the way back when he claimed his fifth Masters title, finishing at 13 under par. Tiger shot a 2 under 70 in the final round of the 2019 Masters Tournament, winning a very close round by one stroke over players like Dustin Johnson, Bruce Kopecka, and Xander Schauffele. But how did he manage to do it under all the pressure and controversy? Well, you'd want to stick to the end of today's video to find out how Tiger Woods untapped his potential. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. Born as Eldrick Taunt Woods, he is the son of Earl Woods a retired lieutenant colonel in the United States Army and his wife, Cotilda. He grew up in Cypress, California and quickly became interested in golf at a young age after watching his father hit golf balls into a net and imitating his swing. Eldrick appeared on the Mike Douglas show with Bob Hope when he was just two years old. He shot 48 on nine holes at the age of three and was featured in Golf Digest at only at the age of five. So at six years old, I was getting hooked on the game of golf. My dad was playing. He was a member, was able to play at what was called the Navy Golf Course in Long Beach, California. In order to play as a dependent, I had to be 10 years or older. Obviously, I didn't fit that criteria. So in order for me to kind of play in the game, we found a par three course, Hartwell Golf Park in Long Beach. My mom took me there and their pro Rudy at the time, he told me to hit some shots. Well, I hit a few shots and he says, okay, he's got unlimited balls. At the age of 14, Eldrick and his family had to make a tough decision. They had to take their second mortgage just so their son could play. Tiger finished 34th in the 1994 Johnny Walker Asian Classic in Thailand, his first professional tournament at the age of 16. He enrolled at Stanford in 1994 and won 10 collegiate events in two years, culminated in the NCAA title. Train hard, fight easy. I made practice so difficult. It hurt so much because I wanted to make sure that I was ready for the game. Woods had one of the most impressive amateur records in golf history before turning professional in August 27, 1996, winning six USGA national championships. I did thousands of ball, hand bleeding, aching, just so I could play in a tournament. Playing at some of these golf courses, I was not allowed in the clubhouses where all the juniors were. The color of my skin dictated that. And as I got older, that drove me even more. Since turning professional in 1996, Tiger has built quite an impressive competitive career. Among his accomplishments, 106 world championships, 15 majors, 82 PGA Tour victories, which ties him for the most in history with Sam Snead. He has won five Masters tournaments, four PGA Championships, and three U.S. Opens. With his second Masters victory in 2001, Tiger became the first golfer in history to hold all four professional major championships at the same time. When Woods last won a major, he was 32 years old. Off-course scandals were unthinkable. And there may have never been a more clean-cut athlete in professional sports history. It was unavoidable that he would eventually surpass Nicholas and hold the record for the most major champions in golf history. I'm going to keep saying this, but there were so many different scenarios that could have happened on the back nine. I have been in a spot before. I've been in a position where I've won and where I've been in a position where I've lost. But I just keep telling myself, at least I'm in that position. Let's go ahead and we have a lot of holes to play. I was able to handle the heat down the stretch and pull off some of my best shots. The difficulties he has encountered over the last 11 years, some of which he created and others which were not, 
would have been enough to break anyone. His body had completely failed him, and three back surgeries had left him unsure whether he would ever be able to return to the sport that had once seemed invincible to him. His personal low point was the DUI arrest in 2017, where Tiger had to make a 12-month probation and pay a fine of 250. But less than two years after the arrest, Tiger Woods is once again on top of the golf world. Tiger pierced the sky with both fists when the ball found the bottom of the cup. After months spending rebuilding his body with back fusion surgery, then rebuilding his swing, and finally rebuilding his confidence. With back-to-back -back top six finishes at the 2018 British Open and PGA Championship, he let out a primal scream as the weight of attempting the seemingly impossible was lifted from his shoulders. Then as the reality of what he had accomplished began to sink in, a broad smile spread across his face. You know, just the whole tournament has meant so much to me over the years. Coming here in 1995 for the first time and being able to play as an amateur, winning in 97, and then full circle 22 years later, to be able to do it again in just the way it all transpired today. Without the sacrifices of my mom, who took me to all those teachers, golf tournaments. Dad, who's not here, but who instilled in me this work ethic to fight for what I believe in, chase after my dreams. Nothing's ever going to be given to you. Everything's going to be earned. And if you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't put the effort. One, you're not gonna get the results. But two, and more importantly, you don't deserve it. You don't earn it. You never give up, that's a given. You always fight. Just giving ups never in the equation. Tiger Woods. If you're facing through a difficult moment in your life right now, if you feel like you've gone backwards in your life instead of forward, if you're not where you want to be or where you expect to be at this point in your life, if you're currently experiencing a setback, I want you to know one thing. Your setback is just a setup for a comeback. Steve Harvey. Success is measured not by a person's position, but by how much hard work they put in and how many obstacles they had to overcome. Gratitude can assist you in focusing on what is good and what is working rather than what is not. Gratitude shifts the emphasis from problems to blessings. When you focus on the positive aspects of your life, you actually train your brain to look for them. Instead of living in regret and what ifs, you'll learn to live in the present in what you can do to change. So by practicing gratitude, you will become more aware of the good in the world. Problems in life don't easily go away, but they do become more manageable. If you're considering returning to school, applying for a promotion, or making another major life change, the first step is to cultivate and embrace the confidence you'll need to put yourself forward. Confidence not only helps you understand where your starting line is, but it also helps you map out the path you'll take to get there. That is where self-determination comes into play. And once you learn to play the game, you can win everything. Just as the athlete Tiger Woods himself once said, the greatest thing about tomorrow is that I will be better than I am today. Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, commenting below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest updates. Soon, you will be on your way to feeling inspired.